Hello, I'm going to talk to you about making codes using Nemu64. Nemu64 is a Nintendo 64 emulator. It's not as good at emulating the Nintendo 64 as other emulators such as Project 64. It has some really good plugins for making codes. Here we have a list of ROMs, American, European and Japanese. You can double click any of them to load the ROM or go to ROM, load ROM. I'm going to be lazy and double click. See here we have a pause button. It's a good idea to use a pause button before switching to other programs because if you have an older computer, Nemu64 will really slow it down if you don't pause first. Also, you need to pause anyway before using certain plugins such as the memory viewer so that the game doesn't update the memory. Now I've just loaded the American ROM, but if let's just check that I actually have. So go to plugin, show ROM info. Oh yeah, USA. That's always a good thing to do just to make sure you have loaded the right version as codes will only work on the right version they were made for. Now what we're going to do is enable the level selects, but we're not going to use a code. Instead we we'll go to plugins, debugger, memory. This is Nemu 64's memory viewer. It shows you the emulated Nintendo 64's memory. We have the address on the left. Remember these are all hexadecimal values. And then we have 16 bytes of data. So we've got 0 there and F all the way over there. Then we've got 1, 0, etc. On the right we have text. If there is no text there actually it will look like just a random mess like that. Well, Super Mario 64 has uses a bit of its own uh, type text as well, which won't appear anyway. It's only standard ASCII text. Anyway, we're going to enable the level selects. Do you know the level select code? 8032D58C. Please don't get confused about the first two digits of the code because it's not actually the address, it's the code type, but by coincidence it's 80. It can get very confusing. <laughs> but for now it's fine, uh, just to put that in. So the other part of the code is 0001. So we're going to put a 1 in there. That will enable the level select. See what I did there, I just clicked on those 32 bits, changed the value and pressed return and it updated the memory. Now if you unpause, the level select will be enabled. So shall we see? Yeah, there we are, the level select. And let's go down to bob on Battlefield. There we go. Well that's nice. And that an error has just come up. <laughs> um, right, let's just play around with the memory view a bit more to get used to it. Let's change Mario's lives. So go. To, do you know the code for Mario's lives? Eight zero double three B two one D. See here we have four. So we've got one C one D. Let's change it to six three, which is hexadecimal for ninety nine. Um, pause. 99 lives. <gasps> is that magic? Uh, what should we do? 2, 0, which is 32 in decimal. I find a calculator is good for converting between hexadecimal and decimal. I also have Mario's health there. So he's lost some health. Put that back. There we go, simple as that. Now we're going to make use of breakpoint, a breakpoint to make a code. A breakpoint will pause the game uh, when something's about to happen, such as reading or writing to memory. We're going to set up a write breakpoint. So to do that, you make sure that write, watch type on set, write, only write is selected. Then right click on these 32 bits here see it changes to purple that's to show you yes we've set up a right only breakpoint right only breakpoint means that it will only pause the game when it tries to write to any of those four bytes in memory unfortunately you have to do on each 32 bits which can be annoying sometimes now what we're going to do is go to the homing up uh, one up in the tree bit of slow down here Yeah, a bit hard to do when it's in slow motion. 
uh, should have increased the frame rate, I think, but never mind. There you go. So just climb the tree and get the one up, and then St. Magic's going to happen. <gasps> the game's crashed. No, it's just paused. See what's popped up here? Commands. We have a list of the game's instructions in the assembly language, and then Mu64 has realised, oh, the game's about to write to that memory location. See, we have SB, store bytes. Now, this is, might get a bit complicated, but just try and please bear with me. Basically, C in T8, we have 2 1. Now, 2 1 is hexadecimal for 33. So let's go back a bit to this instruction here. So we've got LBT7 ADT6. Okay, T6 equals 8033B170. That's a base address. AD is an offset, so AD is added onto that. So the resulting address we get is 8033B21D, which we know is LICE. Please ignore the C. Uh, there where it says memory address because memory 64 has to show it for every 32 bits anyway see that t7 contains 20 that's 32 in decimal which is the lives so the game loaded mario's current lives here we have a d d i u t 8 t 7 1 that perhaps looks a bit complicated but all it does is add 1 to mario's lives so T7 is Mario's current lives. 1 is added and it's put into T8. These T8, T7s and all that are based, by the way, are registers, which are temporary storage locations inside the processor or emulated processor. So it, the game looks up Mario's lives, increases it by 1, and then stores it back where it came from. What we're going to do is set up a code so that 1-ups actually increase Mario's lives by two each time. We're going to remove the breakpoint, and all you need to do to do that is just right click on that memory location so the colour disappears. What we're going to do is go to the address in memory, the add immediate unsigned one. So that's 802F, 802F, and the other part is 3C9, 3C9C. 25FA is the instruction, then see the triple zero one, that's the same as apart from the instruction. So we now know that our code is 802F3C9F9C9D9E9F2. Okay? Again, this might be a bit complicated, but please just try and follow through as best as you can. To set up codes using Nemu64, go to Options. Game Shark Cheese. Then click on New. Right, so our code, just put that list, let's see, is uh, what should we call it? Uh, let's just do one up worth two. There you go. Then you click on Add. It's a bit more complicated than Project 64, but it's not too bad. So it's 802F, 802F, yep. Uh, 3C9F, 3C9F triple zero two and then OK and then add and OK again. Now the game is currently paused so sort of Nemu64 pause so just click on go. See the game continues as normal. Now what we're going to do is exit back to the level select then we're going to select Bob on Battlefield again. Now this time when we get the one up, it should give Mario two lives instead of just one. So we're going to just do that now and sh check that works. Fortunately the graphics plugin you know, I've got is not very good. <laughs> right, so let's get the one up. Four lives, six lives, see? And you can have some other value or you can even minus. Okay, well that's uh, the first part. I hope you enjoyed it and perhaps learned a bit. If you need any help, please just ask. I've got information on my site. I know some of it's a bit complicated, but please just ask if you need help, and that's bye for now. Bye.